to show you how your sensory neurons detect the difference between hot and cold. Zan and I and we're going for a swim. Now, because the sea is cold, I've decided to pre-acclimatise, and I'm already pretty cold myself. Zan, on the other hand, has taken a different strategy. Zan? Now, my strategy is to get as warm as possible before I get in the freezing ocean. Come on, you've had enough time in there. Let's get going. Five more minutes, Chris. There's still a little warmth left in the hottie. You've had quite enough time. You've been in there an hour and a half. Give me that. Come on. It's freezing out here. OK, are you ready, Zan? I'm boiling. I can't wait to get in. All right, last one in's a rotten egg. Three, two, one. Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ah! This is embarrassing. Oh, lovely! <laughs> it's freezing! It's absolutely tropical. <laughs> Why is your bit of ocean warmer than my bit of ocean? Have you peed there? No! Don't be absurd! Sensory neurons work by detecting the difference in temperature between the water and your skin. There's hardly any difference between my cold skin and the cold water, so I feel fine. But for Zahn, there's a big difference between his warm skin and the cold water, so he feels extremely chilly. Once his skin temperature drops, he'll start to feel OK too. I must say now, it's absolutely lovely! So we've shown you a homunculus, which reveals you have more sensory neurons in your mouth, hands and feet than anywhere else. And we've shown you that your sensory neurons are vital in detecting hot and cold things by comparing their temperatures with that of your skin. Well, Zan, that was a great success. Would you like an ice cream? Ooh, I love an ice cream. Just give me a second and I can get on my hat, my hoodie, my dressing gown, my blankie. Good luck finding your blankie. Bye! Chris! So high, no, you can't resist. Follow me, follow me, right.